Hey guys, Robert with 3D Printscape. So today's video is going to be covering how to set up Cura to work with your printers with Sonic Pad or Clipper. The built-in slicer the Sonic Pad has is nice, but in many situations you're going to be able to slice from your computer and then send it to the Sonic Pad or use an SD card or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to cover that process here. It's not very difficult. Uh, it's just setting up a new machine profile and then importing some um, profiles that you can start with. They give you uh, two profiles for PLA, uh, ABS, and PETG. One normal, one fast. Uh, the normal is about two and a half times the speed of Marlin. The fast is about three times. Uh, you'll have to play around with the settings a little bit to find out what works best for your printer. Um, when you get into that speed, little things such as the frame being off-center and stuff like that can really impact things. Uh, so you want to kind of figure out what works best with your printer. Uh, use these as starting points. Uh, if you want though, if, you guys, if there's enough interest, I can do some testing with one of my printers and upload one um, like what I do with the standard Cura versions, uh, just kind of like my starting point. Uh, so if you guys are interested, just let me know. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and get started. Uh, but before we do that, if you guys haven't already, uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks. All right, guys, to get Cura to work with the Sonic Pad, we're going to have to do a couple things. First one is create a new machine profile that has different start and stop uh, G code settings, and then uh, import the Cura profiles that we're going to want to use. They provide you with some good starting points. You might have to make some tweaks based on your uh, printer and what you're trying to work with for the project. If you guys are interested, I could do some more testing and upload those to my site as well just to give you a better starting point. But I think the ones that they provide are at least good enough to get started. All right, so first let's go ahead and get what we need from Creality. So we want to go to their site with the Sonic Pad and then go to download section. This will take us to their downloads for the product. And then we want to download the Cura profiles and user guide. All right, then with that downloaded, you want to go ahead and extract it. And I just did that really quick off camera and you get this. So you've got the user guide and then you have some profiles depending upon what you're looking for. The main thing between these are going to be the V2 is going to be Bowden tube versus direct drive for some of the other ones. Uh, the V2 profile is going to work pretty well for um, most of the printers out there that are Bowden and Corality. Uh, so that'll be the one I'm going to focus on here. But let's look at the guide here. Uh, it shows you how to add the new machine profile. Uh, you can just create a custom one. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of set this off to the side a second and we'll go ahead and load Cura. Um, the important thing in here are going to be the start and stop commands. Uh, so with a Clipper, uh, which Sonic Pad uses, it changes like the bed mesh. You don't use G29 for the calibrate anymore. All right, so what I'm gonna to go to do now is put this off to the side, but I am gonna use this as a reference as I'm creating the profile. Then we're gonna open up Cura, which I have here. Then go to Preferences, Configure Cura, go into Printers and Add New, and select non Ultimaker. And we wanna add a custom printer. So we, um, it's gonna be the second one down. Now, it's important that you do custom and not one of the Creality ones. I actually thought one of those would work to begin with, um, but it won't actually import the profiles that they provided. They're not compatible with Creality Base is what it says. All right, so let's go ahead and name this Ender 3 V2 SP for Sonic Pad. All right, now we want to update all of the machine settings here. So we'll take out everything and start G-Code and stop G-code because we're going to have to replace those commands. And then let's pull up our example here. So we want the V2 one. Uh, the only thing is with using the V2 example, if you do have a BL touch or CR touch, we are going to have to go up and grab the bed mesh calibration and add that in as well. But we'll get there in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and set these parameters. So 225, 225, 235. We have a heated bed, Marlin, and then negative 20, negative 10, 10, 10, 255, one extruder. Okay, that's good. 
I will go ahead and copy in our start and stop G code. And then, like I said, if you have a BL touch or CR touch, we want to add this bed mesh calibration under the G28 on start. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, then let's go over to the extruder. And we've got point four for your nozzle size. Uh, we're using 1.75 millimeter filament. Uh, no X and Y offsets and uh, nothing else here. All right, so go ahead and hit next. And we can go ahead and just close out of this. It'll select that printer. So you can verify here that you have that printer selected. Now we can go ahead and import their profiles. Uh, they give you some base profiles for PLA, ABS, and PETG. Uh, they're good enough to get started, but if you guys think there's value, I can uh, test them, play around with them a little bit more. And uh, if I find that there's a good set of updates, I can go ahead and upload those to my site. I also plan on getting the 5.3 profiles updated this weekend as well, and I'm a little bit behind on that. All right, so let's go ahead and go into Configure Cure again, go down to Profiles, and Import. We'll go to our Downloads. Oops. And go into the V2, and we'll import the PLA Fast and PLA Normal, because those are the ones I'm working with. Alright, then we can go to close that. Now over here, we can switch to those profiles. So if you see fast, some of the main differences here are going to be your speed. So the print speed on fast is 160 and 170, uh, where your print speed on normal is 120, 130. But if you go like to your standard, uh, let me switch over to my Ender 3. Um, the normal print speed's 50 and with wall speeds at 25. So it's defaulting fast to a little over three times the speed of the standard print speed when using the Creality firmware or, or the Marlin based firmware versus Clipper. Uh, so that's a pretty big difference. Um, you might want to start with normal, which is still about two and a half times and see if it's getting the quality you want. Maybe for some larger blocks or parts that have less detail, you can go up to fast and see if that meets your needs. It's really going to be based on the print and then uh, some of the things specific to your printer when you're getting into that speed, which is going to be how level it is. If you have any excess movement on any of the axes or anything like that, those are all going to come into play here. But now all you have to do is um, go ahead and do your normal uh, import of a 3D object. So, I mean, we could probably just use an example here. Um, I, let's just say I wanted to print this calibration cube under normal speed. Then we'll go ahead and just go and slice. And then we can save this to disk or SD card if you can print from the SD card. Um, but if you have the web interface up, you can just copy the file over via the web interface. I don't actually have mine powered on right now. I've been moving a couple things around, so I can't show you that example in this video, but I have a video covering the web interface. Um, it's really, you just log into it. Once you have the IP address, it's not even asking for credentials. Then you just drag and drop this file into the uh, object store. Uh, so it's really simple if you want to go that route instead of printing from the SD card, but either way it will work. All right, guys, so that was the process to set up Cure to work with your Sonic Pad. Uh, like I said, it wasn't very difficult uh, just setting up the machine profile and importing some profiles into Cura, and that really just gives you a good starting point. Um, I would recommend starting with the normal speed and then starting to ramp it up and, and see how it works out. If you're working with larger parts that don't have as much detail, you can go ahead and jump up to the fast, see how that works out for you. Uh, but it's really going to be a little bit of trial and error to get the right speed for your printer. Uh, the Clipper is incredibly fast, especially compared to Marlin. But either way you look at it, it's still going to be significantly faster than it would be running just standard Marlin, uh, which is pretty nice. 
If you have any questions about what I covered or would like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.